Hi, Endurance Wet here with my comprehensive guide to Swift events. In this video, I'll be going over the type of events and the classification of events. And then I'll be going over where you can find and join Swift events. There's a lot to cover, so let's get right to it. There are three types of events on Swift. Group rides or runs. These will have a ride leader or yellow beacon. They may also have a red sweep to help those who fall behind. And may also have a red fence to discourage riders from getting too far ahead. Then there are group workouts. The bike workouts are banded so everyone stays together. And finally there are races and fondos. These are competitive events, all out efforts from start to finish. You can look for your results on swiftpower.com. All SWIFT events are categorized by intensities, or FTP, Functional Threshold Power. Category A is for elite competitors. Category B is for very strong competitors. Category C is for competitive cyclists and runners. Category D is for recreational entrants, ranging from beginners to very experienced runners and cyclists. And category E is an open category, including all intensity levels. Pick the events that match your level of fitness and interests. There are three Swift resources to find events, on Swift in-game, on the companion app, and on Swift.com. We'll be going over each one of these. In-game, right after you've logged in and paired your devices, you can find an unfiltered list of events in the top right-hand corner of the page. The list is limited to the next several hours, just depending on how many events are occurring at that time. The list includes events already in progress, but which you can still join. The list is unfiltered. The list does show the intensity level of the event and shows the number of entrants, including the number that you were following. And you can join the event. Now let's take a look at this resource in real time on Swift. In game, the unfiltered event list is located at the top right hand corner of the page. At the top of the list are events or meetups that you've already signed up for. Next are events that have already started, but that you can still join. And the remaining events are listed in the order in which they are starting. At the time that I am recording this video, there are events listed for the next three hours. But I've seen the list go up to nine hours. It just depends on how many events are scheduled in the next while. Let's pick an event to look at. Let's look at WTRL Team Time Trial Zone 4. This event is shown as starting in 20 minutes. And it's appropriate for intensities A, B, C, and D. There are 561 entrants and one entrance that I am following. To join the event, click on one of the radio buttons, A, B, C, or D. And then going will show up on the left-hand side of the event. If you change your mind, just hover your mouse over the event and click leave. You can see a listing of events on Swift.com. The listing seems to be limited to the next 24 hours. You can filter the list by sport type, cycling or running, by intensity, and by start time, morning, afternoon, evening, and so forth. Each event shows the intensity levels and shows the number, but not the number that you are following. And you can sign up directly for the event on Swift.com. Now let's go to the website and try it out in real time. This is the events page on Swift.com. And we can simply scroll through a list of unfiltered events. The events are listed by start time. More interesting is filtering events. So click on filter events. Then we can click on the type of sport we'd like. So we'll click on cycling. Event type, we'll click on race. Intensities, we'll click on C. Note, you can only click on one intensity. So if I click on D, then C disappears, but we'll stay with C. And then you can pick a start time. We'll just leave it at all start times and then apply filters. So now we're looking at a filtered list. 
Let's have a look at one particular list. We'll look at 3R Alpha Swift, which is starting at 5.15 p.m. So we'll click on that event. Now it shows us the event description, the groups on the right-hand side. Take note, you can click on toggle event details in very small writing at the bottom of the event description. And this will show you how many entrants in each category, but it does not show you the number that you are following. To join the event, click on the intensity category that best meets your level of fitness. So we'll click on the plus sign for C, and now it shows a check mark. If you have a change of heart, just go back and click on the check mark, and now you are no longer signed up for the event. And now I'd like to share with you a secret Swift.com events page filter. You can filter by any hashtag. Let's say we'd like to filter for a certain group, say the herd, which is a very popular group on Swift. Go up to the page URL and type in slash tag slash herd and press enter. And now you can see it shows browsing events tagged with herd. And you can scroll through the list. And these are all herd events. And then you can clear the filter just by clicking on clear. That's something that I didn't even know about myself until I started researching this topic. So something just a little bit extra, but let's keep the secret to ourselves. Next, let's talk about events list on the companion app. The companion app will show events for the next seven days. You can filter by following, that is only show events in which someone that you follow has entered by sport, cycling or run, type, group workout, race, etc by intensity, but not by start time. Each event will show the level of intensities and will show the number of entrants and the number of entrants that you are following. And you can sign up directly for events. Okay, now let's do a demonstration on the companion app. On the companion app, tap on events. And now you can scroll through a list of events in the order of start time. Each event shows the start time, the duration, the number of entrants, including those that you are following, and the group or intensities that are included. At the top of the page, you can also choose on running events and on meetups. Let's go back to cycling. Let's click on filters. Currently, the Tour de Swift is going on, and you can include or exclude those events by tapping on the check mark. We've now excluded those events. You can filter to only see events in which Swifters you follow are entered. Just slide the button over to the right. And you can select which group or intensities you want to look at. When you tap on the, one of those buttons, it turns gray, then that group is not included. Unlike Swift.com, you can include multiple intensities. Here I've selected C and D. And then you can choose the type of event you want to look at. Here we've only selected group rides. And now we'll click on Apply Filters. And now we're looking at a filtered list. Let's have a look at PMC Ride to Fight Cancer which is starting at 16.50. It's 60 minutes long, has 161 entrants, one of which I follow, and is at the D level. If we tap on the event, we get some additional information. In this case, it shows us the route, cast paths. And you can also click see more to get more information about the event. At the bottom of the page, it shows the D intensity. If there were more categories, then it would show additional categories, A, B, C, for example. To enter the event, just tap on the plus sign. You can set a reminder for yourself and add the event to your calendar if you've registered a calendar with Swift.
and then tap on save. And now you're entered for the event. If you change your mind, just tap on the check mark. And now you're no longer entered in the event. Here we are on the swifthacks.com Swift Events website. You can scroll through a listing of events, including events that happened the previous day. If you look on a past events, there's a link to swiftpower.com so you can see the event results. Let's have a look at one of particular events. Let's look at Pack Fest of 1.5 Beginner's Ride Extended. There are 101 entrants and it's being held today at 4.30 a.m. The ride is 35 kilometers in length. If it was a timed event, it would show a clock with the number of minutes. It's a ride. It includes LJ, late join, NS, no steering, and it's being held on Watopia's waistband, and it's in category D. Let's click on that event. And now we get some additional details. Again, it shows us the intensity, the length of the ride, the amount of meters climbed, and the route, and shows a number of entrants. No time trial bikes, allows late join, only see event riders, see all categories, steering not allowed, and power-ups are allowed. And a description of the event. And a link to join the event by clicking on swift.com. So if you click on that event, it will take you to the event page, and then you can join by clicking on the plus sign. But let's go back to swifthacks.com. One thing I really like about this web page is the powerful filters. You can filter by sport, cycling or running, event type, when the event is going to be held, today, tomorrow, this coming week, or you can even pick a particular date. You can also filter by groups, pack, for example, SCR, herd, ZHCC, or any other number of groups. And you can search by event name, by the text in the event description, by the club name. What I really like is the ability to search by a route name. So if you're hunting route badges, you can type in the name of the route and it will show you all the upcoming events on that route. And then there are a host of additional filters. So if you're looking for a powerful resource to find Swift events, look no further than Swift events on swifthacks.com. After you've signed up for an event, go on to Swift. As early as 15 minutes before the event, you'll be prompted to let's go to join the event. But you can join as late as a few minutes before the event start. As soon as you click let's go, you'll be taken to the event start corral. Enjoy your run or ride on Swift. I hope you found this comprehensive guide to Swift events helpful. If you have, please give it a big thumbs up and consider leaving a comment. Your comments are very helpful. And you might also want to subscribe to my channel, Endurance Sweat. Until next time, train hard and have fun.